baseball players think about having dreams like yours is to go back to your sophomore year. Do you recall when it happened for you? In other words, you were pitching in a state playoff game, right? And they were there, the scouts there, to see a senior, and you knocked the ball over the boards. Kind of recall that day when you moved on to the radar. Yeah, no, it's uh, that sophomore year, it's where it began. Um, I think after that game, I started getting calls, started getting uh, you know letters in the mail, just uh, from teams, from colleges, uh, you know, trying to see if I want to come visit or uh, you know try have a little workout. Uh, I thought it was pretty special, you know, as a kid, you know, uh, dreaming as a kid, you know, before high school, for you know, for little league, all, all that stuff. Uh, to actually have you know, teams reach out and you know send you stuff in the mail and talk to you, contact you, it's. Uh, I thought I was pretty special. How did you balance the relationship for you as a player? And when we're all young, we don't think these things through too much, between Millville High School and Tri-State Arsenal. They both had a big part in who you were. How does a young athlete, how did you balance that? You know, uh, you know obviously high school season was more important. Um, you know, it's, you, you uh, as a kid, you know, you want to play high school baseball. And uh, you know, in the off season, or well, the off season would be the summer, um, you know, I like to get out and, uh, you know, travel, and I think traveling team and you know, Tri-State Arsenal made me get out. And uh, you know, when I traveled across the country with that team, um, you know, helped me, uh, you know, just compare my talents to guys, you know, across the country. And I think that's the biggest thing that helped me get my name out there. You know, I'm from South Jersey, not a lot of people know about South Jersey and uh, New Jersey in general. You know, there's a couple guys that came out of there, um, but just uh, getting out and getting recognized out of, out of the state helped me a lot. Okay, so then the WWBA in the fall in Jupiter, the, the industry calls it Jupiter, that's basically what they call it. After your sophomore year, after your junior year, you go and you play against those players. What were those experiences like? Is that kind of what you're referring to? What were those experiences like? Because those are all good baseball players in that tournament. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly what I was referring to. Uh, just going out there and competing, competing against the best in the country, you know, at, at my age and, you know, people older than me, you know, it's, uh, it's good to, you know, try to compare yourself and just to see where you're at. The one thing that, that uh, was interesting is reading an article about you when you were young, I mean very young, and folks in Jersey, you, you might not have been known on the national level, but folks in Jersey knew who you were. And you talked about the fact that I try to do the little things a little better every day. Not many high schoolers talk like that. Where did that come from? Yeah, no, it's got to come from my parents. Um, you know, they've always taught me, you know, never take a you know, day for granted. I always try to learn something new every day. Uh, you know, there were teachers, obviously. so. You know, education was very important to me, and um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing coming out of high school is education was first, and uh, you know, obviously sports came second. And you know, my parents always told me to get good grades, and you know, I could so I can play sports. And you know, that's it's led me, you know, the right way, you know, the right you know career path, and um, it's, me, it's kept me humble this whole way. The one thing you said uh, leading up to the draft is you were going to try not to think about it. I think a lot of young prospects. Would love to know how in the world you do that. Were you able to follow through? Did you think about it day and night? If so, how did you clear your mind up? Uh, yeah, no, it's a, you obviously think about it off the field. Um, but once I got started playing, you know, I really just went out there and played. I don't really think about it too much. I think that's when you, when you think too much, you get in trouble. Uh, try to do too much. You know, try to get out of your role. Try to hit you know ball 500 feet when you can just you know go out there and keep your same approach. That'll get that, that's what got you there in, in the first place. So it's uh, just you know staying positive and not trying to you know think too much. Did you use that number 25 selection as motivation? Do you still? Uh, obviously, you know, 2014's passed on me before me. So, uh, just uh, you know, being up here, you know, can't take it for granted each and every day. Just uh, you know, it definitely fueled me, you know, in the minors and you know, not, not being up here. All right, final one for you, and I'm going to put it together. Advice for young baseball players who they all idolize you, but they could use your advice. You're not too far removed from where they were. And the second part of it is advice for sports parents because your mom and dad did a heck of a job. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, you know, first got to be with my parents. Obviously, you know they never forced me to go out there and play and put a uniform on. They always told me if uh, they had to force me to do something, they didn't want me to do it. So, uh, yeah, I played three sports as a kid. You know, always, always in the front yard playing. You know, baseball, basketball, football. But uh, you know, if I had to give some advice to, to young kids, uh, always stay positive. You know, you uh, go through some tough times. You know, but uh, for me, it's always getting the negative out of my head. Um, and uh, staying humble and you know getting good grades in school. I think that's what the, the biggest thing to help me is you know keep my head on straight, trying to get good grades. And you know you got to have a, obviously a backup plan. Uh, you know because not always time worked out. But um, you know once you get your education, you have you have a good head. Uh, things will lead you in the right way. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, thank you.